Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Franklin County Budget Committee for uh, July 8th, 2020. First item on our agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag. So, you can all please rise with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. With that, we're going right to. Next item, which is opening comments for myself. Uh, we're just going to go right down through the budget. Uh, if there's somebody will make a motion. Remember to try to state your name, please. And we do have mics. It was mentioned to me that I guess people in that are listening do have a hard time hearing. So I'll try to repeat the motion who made it, who sang it. In. I'll try to keep track of all that. So. Uh, and that's it. So. Moving right along, and we'll discuss the final budget, make our votes. And the first is Superior Court, which that was department requested 3,000, and commissioners in the budget committee, we both said the 3,000. Is there a motion on it? I make a motion for 3,000. Second. Oh, sorry, Tiffany Estimer. Bob Luce, second. So Tiffany made the motion for 3,000. Bob seconded it. Are there any questions or comments on that? Seeing none, I'm about to do a roll call vote. Tiffany? Tiffany Mayuri? Aye. Morgan Dunham? Yes. Ray? Yes. Bob? Yes. Tiffany Estabrook? Yes. Travis Pond? Yes. Yes. Josh Ravel? Yes. So that is 8 0 passes. We have one committee absent at this time. And then, moving right along, and that is to the EMA budget. And the original request was for $194,404. Commissioners of both the Budget Committee, we voted for $193,304. Is there a motion? So moved, Bob Luce. Morgan Dunham seconded. Bob made the motion. Morgan seconded for $193,304. Questions or comments? On the evening. Roll call vote. Yeah. Jimmy Murray? Yes. <coughs> Murray, yes. Ray, yes. Bob, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Dyer, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. So that's 8 0. So we went along to the district attorney's office. Original request from the department was for $307,609. Commissioners and the Budget Committee voted for $304,637. Is there a motion on this? So moved for the club. Yeah. Tiffany Mayer. Tiffany. So you have a second. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Tiff Mari made a motion and Morgan seconded. Is question to God? Bob, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Dye, as well. Joshua Bell, yes. So that is 7 1. Judy. That moving to county commissioners. And the original request was for $174,082. Commissioners then voted for $171,569, and the budget committee voted $153,569. Is there a motion? I make a motion for $163,569. There's second. Bob, I'll second that. Right. So. Tiff made the motion. Bob seconded. Questions or comments? Would you like to? Sure. Explain? So at our 
At our last meeting, um, we talked about commissioner's salaries, and there was some discussion about what was equitable. And on reading uh, what average salaries were for commissioners throughout the different counties, um, looking at $8,000 for commissioner one and commissioner two, one of the points that was made is that uh, that those that are being elected into this position should remain at that salary line. So I'm proposing that the two commissioners that are currently up for election go to $8,000 because that seems to be in line with the other commissioners. And to keep the third commissioner that isn't up for election at the current $12,000 where we'll see what further future budget committees look at it, but um, listening to what the budget committee had to say uh, about when they come in to be elected, that's the amount that they would expect. And so since there's two positions open, I'm proposing $8,000 for the two positions that are open and keeping it at $12,000 for a commissioner that is currently in the end there, it's equitable and is in line with what I heard the budget committee ask for at the last meeting. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Questions? Comments or anything else? Bob. Um, where would the money, the treasurer's amount, where would that fall in that? That's kind of convoluted in there with uh, Mary, Lori is, you know, you, you, along the same line. I, yep. I, I did not, in, my, in this, in this uh, motion, I did not make any cuts to any of the lines whatsoever. I just kept those as it was in this. Figured out this is a good place to start the discussion at. Okay. Okay. Right, because this is the treasure. I think I know what you're talking about. There was some discussion about it, and I don't recall where <clears throat> where it where it went. But I think when we come to the treasurer's line, Julie's gonna okay. kind of fill you in. Okay. Because okay. that changed, not anything in this budget. Right? So it's more in the, it's more in the treasurer's. Yes. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Never mind. Mike. forget my question. Thank you. Okay. Does your Judy. Right now, it doesn't include the new, new employee. The only change the. I'm oh, sorry, it's a yes or no. Oh, I'm sorry. So the does one it that include the new employee? Like the, the one that's listed as new EE. Is that the? It does include the one that says new EE. I, I yes. Understand. Yes. 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 It is. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Maybe this is too tall. Maybe. It's boring. Nice. <laughs> I'm in the middle, so if you came here, let me know. You so, can yeah, we could use a mic too, maybe so that people can know. So my question is, question is, do we feel that the new E should be included? Or should we, are we, we think that, I'm just curious my about that. My perspective is, is, if there's nobody retiring, we don't need to hire anyone to train them because nobody's retiring. And you can anticipate someone retiring, it, but in the when, years, when right, years. exactly. So I think it's for this budget purpose for this year. I think it's too much of an yes. Tiffany, yes, Would you like to say that again? Only if anyone needs me to. <laughs> I think given this this year, and we're looking at this year's budget, there's too many ifs with regards to a new, new employee and training. There's nobody currently looking to leave or to retire. So I think that's something that a, a next budget committee needs to look at if that's the desire of the employees. Tiff? John, John, can you hear me? Do you want to wait, Tiff? Uh, I'll let okay. you. All right. Judy, yes, we can hear you. Hello? Hi. Sorry, just a little bit of a delay. Yep. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, can, I can be in agreement with the budget committee on the new employee. Um, I think so much is just in the air with the current situation, with staffing and just the general COVID-19 thing that um, if, if the Mary and Lori line item for our part time and consulting help is left as is, I am more than willing at this point to forego the new employee. And that is something I will definitely revisit or whomever is there next year. Uh, I'm sure it will be revisited, but I'm okay with that for right now. No problem. Okay, thank you. Tiff? So, I, I can see that point there, and I can see that, you know, I know we have to put in the, the current motion, 
you know, but if we did eliminate that, that would be 156,471. Um, if we brought that new EE down to zero. So, thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? So we're not, am we're not amending. We have to either vote yes. it up or vote it down. Yeah. Correct? That's the way we've been doing it. So, okay. Yes. I just clarify. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Travis. Travis Bond, you're sharing. My, my only comment on this is uh, where this is going to be going to the ballot sometime in the next year or two, I think, to go to five commissioners would probably be the best time to determine uh, a more sustainable uh, salary for the commissioners at that point in time versus trying to reduce the actual commissioner's salary at this point in time. You know, we're, that's my comment. Did? Okay. Just a minute, I Julie. I, yeah. I don't believe that it's going to go to ballot. I believe the commissioners did not approve it to go to ballot. Uh, maybe we can have clarification on that? I know the commissioners did. Correct. Correct, right, correct? She, she said she is correct. Okay. You are absolutely correct, Stephanie, yes. So it won't be on the ballot at this time? That is correct. It's going to take uh, more legislative action in order to make that happen. Okay. Any other questions or comments? All right, I'll make a comment in regards to the commissioners. I don't have an issue in reducing their wage. I had this argument, oh, three years ago, four years ago, I bet now. Um, and at the time, I think they were getting paid 14000 plus flex dollars. Um, there was a current commissioner, well, two of them, one before, and he's no longer a commissioner. And then, Clyde is a commissioner still. Um, they didn't like the idea of reducing their wage. Um, so we had argued at that time to try to reduce it down to 10. Charlie was right. At the time, we compromised on 12 as the budget committee, and they went along with it. Um, I, I think if you're going to change your wage, I would just change all three of them now if you're going to do that, as opposed to, I know what you're saying in regards to Two are up for election. I just, I think it's just the fiscal year and let it be, and then go from there. That's how I viewed it, and that's what we did at that time. We just changed the wage that year, and I think I don't know who I don't remember who was up for election then. I don't know if it was Gary then or who. So, because um, I can't remember, I can't remember all the details. But I, if you're going to reduce it, I would keep it. I would just go back down to the. I would be acceptable of going to 10 on that as what it was. They do a little bit more than the selectmen. I think we all agreed at that time at that meeting they did. Maybe they're a little paid a little bit more than some other counties, but we don't live in those counties either, so I don't know all the situation. Maybe we have more undesignated territories than those counties. I don't know. So, I mean, I would be more comfortable in taking it to 10. Um, but as in regards to the new employee, I think we need to be careful on adding new employees. It seems like in the county budget, there's a lot of part-time employees to do this work, to do that work, to do this work. It seems like I, I don't see the, I feel like Mary and Lori, why not work with them and see changing their hours around or trying to figure that out before hiring a new employee. But I think we're pretty much in agreement here from people that not to include that at this time. But it seems like in other budgets, there's things that can be worked out in the departments too, instead of hiring another part-time. It always seems that part-time person becomes full-time and then we hire another person. I don't, that's how it always grows, government. Yeah. So I just want to say, you know, I think this is a good dialogue, and I, I think talking this out, going through compromise is the way that we should go. So, you know, I, I'm not, I would be opposed to finding compromises. Thank you. Good. I would just, Good. to you guys, I would just point out that, you know, they also have county clerks versus some of the other counties have administrators or an actual manager. So, somebody's picking up. Mm -hmm. position somewhere along the way. I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
Um, where we have a budget committee member that is, is running for election for one of these offices we're speaking of, is it a conflict for them to vote on what potentially could be their own pay? No. I that'd be hard to say. It's not like she's trying not like that person's trying to increase it for sure. their own personal gain and it'd actually be by her motion she'd be sure. <laughs> voting herself money on. But just like do things correctly. Right, right, but it says a committee of technically nine, you only have eight to nine, but so I would say you know, I also but if she feels that like she should have seen it. I agree that on her, but I don't feel it's me. Do you have another I question? I do. Right. Or comment. No, Sorry. comment. Sorry. No, no. Um, no, I'd no. also like to point out that with regards to the new EE position, I think we've kind of come to a agreement consensus. However, I'd like to point out that no matter how many years we, I personally feel, no matter how many years we budget for a position for somebody to, for Julie or maybe to train, um, you're never going to get the experience that those two currently have. So there's only so much that can be taught and the rest is experience. That's what I'd like to say. Did you have your hand up? Yeah, okay. uh, the, <clears throat> the only question I got is, is a concern that, um, that something, the budget committee has talked about reducing the commissioner's salaries from 12,000 to $6,000. Um, we, we put into the budget last year for some outside agencies extra budget money. Uh, the commissioners moved the surplus over um, and covered the, the difference. So what's to prevent the commissioners from doing the same thing for the $18,000 that we're showing as the cut? In other words, the commissioner's salaries are $12,000. We've budget committees recommended six thousand dollars. What's to say the commissioners can't move eighteen thousand dollars from surplus to increase that line item back up? It's absolutely nothing. No, nope. it's the way the statutes read. It's the way the statutes read. Yeah, I, I, yes, I can address that. Go for it, Julie. Sure, I'll make my chance. I'm not an attorney. I'll say it that up front. But statutorily, I mean. Um, that, that's a statutory thing, and you can't raise or appropriate more than what's originally in the budget. And this is a statutory thing. Uh, I think that could something that could go to the Superior Court, but um, I do not see that happening at all. Okay. There's, quite, there's a big difference between what's appropriate. You can't appropriate more than what's in the line item, and then just opting not to expend it after it's been approved. Those are two different arguments. All right, I see that. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Any other questions or comments? The original motion was for 163-569, and that was looking to change Commissioner, I don't actually know if it's Commissioner 1 and 2, but reducing two of the commissioners. That would be the motion. Okay, reducing it from 12 to 8,000, and then leaving Commissioner 3 at 12,000. That's correct. That was the original. Yep, and that was for 163 and <coughs> Tiffany made the motion, or Tiff made the motion, and Bob sank into that. Do you have any other questions, comments on that? Can I, can I ask a question? Yes, Julie. Yeah, I said if the budget committee was okay with not having the new employee's position, so you could take that 7,098 out as well. Yep, yeah, we're just going to vote on this and then either vote it up or down. Yep. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't miss that. I'm going to volunteer up, so I didn't want you to miss it. Ah, okay. Thanks. We have a committee member. The nine. You will. So we're both ready to vote. So, on um, county commissioners. I'm opposed. Okay. <laughs> that works for what I think is going to happen anyways. The motion was for 163-569. We've had quite a bit of debate in regards to the new employee and the county commissioner's salary. It feels like a consensus right now. I don't want to jump to any conclusions that this motion is going to get voted down for the reasons of talking with Julie of reducing, of eliminating the new employee at this time and working that out possibly for maybe next year. I didn't 
sound good. Uh -uh. So, a motion is for 163-569. Roll call vote. Tiff. Tiffany Mayer, no. Morgan Dunham, no. Ray, no. Bob, no. Gary. It's okay, Bob. Gary. Gary Green, no. Okay. Tiffany Estabrook, no. Travis Bond, no. Judy Dias, no. Joshua Bell, no. So 9 0 does not pass. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion for 158 471. And that will reflect after our discussion here, commissioners 1, 2, and 3 at $10,000. And eliminating the new EE position, taking that down to zero. Pablo, second. So Tiff made the motion for 158 4. 71. 71. Bob seconded that. Is there any questions or comments? Oh, Travis. Travis Bond from the chair. Uh, my only comment would be if we removed 3,890 from the Mary slash Lori line, it would give us a total of 8,000, which is still less than what we spent last year at 7,671. Yeah. I'd like to hear from, you know, what, what impacts that might have from the commissioners or Julie or anybody to see, you know, what understanding. Julie, are you there? Hi, I think. Hi, I'm there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for Mary's position, I absolutely uh, cannot see any way we can reduce that line item, as I sent, said in the previous uh, email to you. Laura's position is contractual. She is working on the COVID-19. Um, as I said, it's a program position, it's contractual. We actually had a discussion today that uh, the policies that she's been writing and dropping and dealing with the personnel issues are currently slowing, and hopefully that will continue. And we are looking within the next, before the term of the month, to reduce that contractual agreement to a, uh, a lower number. But that being said, I do not know what's going to happen in the future. So I think leaving the full amount of the 11777 is a wise thing. And my compromise was to get rid of the new employee in order to offset that. I can't predict the future, and Lori is going to huge asset to the county. I can't begin to tell you how I would have dealt with dealing with the personnel issues with the COVID-19. That, that's been a part-time position all in itself. So I, I just wish you could leave that as be for now. Okay. Do you need to answer your question? It does. I have a follow-up question. Right. Right? Yep. So my follow-up question is, um, would this possibly be considered a COVID-19 expense that's going to be potentially reimbursable? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we're keeping track of, uh, track of that financially separately, so that will probably be 100% reimbursable. Thank you. That was my Did question you? as well. Okay. Any other questions, John? Tim, you have something to add to that? Just to clarify, the reimbursement would be 75% if we get approved, not because Julie mentioned 100%. So just to clarify. Okay. Thank you. My question, Travis, what was the expense? The expense is 7,671 Here and I know obviously Julie kind of runs the day to day. Um, but what was the commissioner's thought process in this position? I didn't what was your thought process? You well, comfortable with the 11,770 to cover the office help? Well, it's necessary. Okay. So we'll try. We don't have this no choice in the matter. People won't come in, they have to make improvisions. And that's what's happening with Mary. Okay. Things change. All right. Tiffany? But do we 
you foresee Lori's position being that of the rest of the year? Uh, that's something we'll discuss in the future. We don't know, nobody knows how long this virus is going to go on. So if that will stop, we'll stop. I would expect. Okay. I think you can really, would you hear me? Yes, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a contractual position until the end of December. Um, if it's not needed, uh, we will adjust. It is a contract and it's a program position. Like I said, Lori and I have talked, as a matter of fact, today about cutting our hours back and reducing that contractual agreement. If we don't need it, we're not going to use it. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Current motion is for 158.471. And that gives the commissioners change from 12,000 to 10,000 each and eliminates the new employee or part-time employee. Any other questions or comments? Seeing them, ready for the roll call vote. Tip. Tip the mayor, yes. Morning Dunham, yes. Ready, yes. Bob, yes. You're very yes. Tiffany has to vote no. Travis Bond, no. Judy Dow, yes, no. Joshua Bell, I say yes. And they give 6 3. Travis, Tiffany, and Judy were opposed. And the rest were in favor. For those who may be listening, I hope that they can hear. All right. With that, moving on to County Treasurer. Original request was. For $104,449, the commissioners requested and the budget committee both voted for $97,033. Is there a motion? Bob Luce, so moved. Everybody Is there a motion and a second for $97,033? Questions or comments? Tiffany Estabrook. I was going to make a motion as I took a breath in <laughs> um, to, to eliminate the time clock of $7,000 from there. I feel as though that we have employees enough and it's kind of like, in my opinion, the Walmart self-checkouts. <laughs> the more you put in, the less um, employees have to work and I think that this is part of the treasurer's duties and therefore I would like for her to continue her duties. Yeah. And just for clarity, I, and then that seven thousand did that include the annual fees? It did, to my knowledge. Okay. I thought so. Too. Was there an adjustment Judy. to the treasurer's salary? I believe at the last meeting they voted it should be to change that, but that is not. I don't believe reflected in anything that we have. That would have been in an email. But that amount was because this is what was voted by the commission originally, and this is what we voted on. So it's not showing it in here. Josh, that, that is correct. That number does not reflect what the commission's vote was at the last commission's meeting. Judy, do you happen to have that number? It would have been 3010, I believe, would have changed. I do have the numbers prepared um, for that change. Okay. Do you want me to go down through those if, if you're not going to make any other change to that budget? Um, it would, I think it would be good so that we had it written down at least beside it for discussion purposes potentially. <coughs> so that it would be 3010 would change right away. And then yes. I assume 5 and all that. That would be, sorry Josh, 5 would no. be 12,000? And FICO would become 3,808. The benefit line item would be reduced to 8,796. And workers' cost would be reduced to 168. Okay. You know what the total would be that for that? I have not punched that in yet. If, if you make that a motion, I can punch it in on my Excel. I just did those quick manual calculations earlier today. Okay. Okay. Could you just say those numbers again? Um, for the treasurers, the commissioners voted the other day to adjust the 
treasurer's budget, and they changed on line item 3010, which is a treasurer from 16,597 to 12,000, and then doing so, it would change FICA from 4,159 to 3,808. Okay. And did you have the benefits? Uh, or was comp 168. Yeah, and then the benefits health and flex would drop from 14,652 to 8,796. Thank you. Okay. So, if the clock would go down to 168. Yes, I get that. Thank you, Julie. Can we get those numbers for you one more time? Um, yep. So, 3010 goes to 12,000. Okay. 3042 goes to 3,808. 3044 goes to 8,796. Workers' comp goes to 168. Well, 3046, yeah. Because <coughs> my question to the commissioners could you, I saw the email just informing of us of your decision. Could you uh, explain a little bit more of the circumstances? Of the decision? Why? Well, hence, that's why Mary is here. She's picking out what the, what the treasurer normally did in the past, and she's not doing it now. So we have to make some decisions, and those are the decisions we make to reduce, to cover a Mary's position. Shouldn't increase the tax rate, you know, bills just because somebody elects not to come in and do their job. Different. Different. So, my understanding, listening in, into the conversations from the commissioner's meeting, is that the, the employees working remotely is doing the job and is elected at that amount. And because somebody is not here physically doing the work, that's the elected position. And I think the argument we talked about is they're elected, they're at that amount, and, you know, Reducing their salary because they during the COVID nineteen crisis. If there is a COVID nineteen expense, that's that's one thing. But I'm <coughs> not quite sure reducing the salary is appropriate if there's extra COVID nineteen work and the employee is doing their work remotely. I, I I heard the conversation where at the commissioner's meeting and correct me if I'm wrong, but they. Last time I heard that there was going to be some accommodation made so the employee could come in, work from the commissioner's office so they could maintain social distancing. And I don't know what came of that at that point there, but that, that's just my understanding, so I'm looking for clarification from anybody. Can you answer that? I think she's overstepping her bounds. This is a personal issue, and uh, I'm not going to answer any more questions about her. I answered directly why we did it. And she's picking it apart, and I'm not going to respond. I will okay. respond as far Tiffany as I Esper. listen to the meeting. Uh, Tiffany Esperick, I'll respond as far as I listen to the meeting. She does not have the ability to work remotely. There's no internet access or anything of the sort, or, sort at her house, so she would have to come in. And it was refused to work in the commissioner's office and, and provide social distancing. Like I said, I'm only discussing what was the public meeting. So that, that and that was the public meeting right. as well. That was the commissioner's yeah. meeting. So, I mean, I, I also had a call to hear it. So, I, yeah. that's why I asked for clarification so. at this meeting. Yes, so I understand. You know, so, so, yeah, different meeting. options were offered and they were refused. Travis Paul, and Sharon, uh, I just agree with the fact that we already know what the commissioner is going to pay out. And if any of us were to vote to tax taxpayers for an additional amount, uh, so the commissioners don't pay it out. I think we'd be silly and it would be a disservice to every resident in the county. So I've punched, I've, punched in, I've punched in the numbers based upon the motion of 97,033 and for clarification I just want to double check. I come up with the changes Julie suggested is 86,212. Yeah. That's before you minus the time clock. Right. That's, being, that's including the time clock in the budget. 
That's just what Julie su suggested with the changes for the personnel. What did you come up with? 86,212. That's based upon off of your motion of 96,033 and then subtracting. 97,000. That's, sorry, 97,000 and then subtracting the amounts that Julie suggested, Julie Gates. So what was that total? 86,212. And Mr. Pond verified and Julie shake, uh, shaking your head yes. Yeah. Do you have Okay. Julie, Julie, you had okay. something you wanted to add? Uh, yeah, I just think the numbers are Yes, Julie, so go ahead. If we make the personnel changes, I have to charge her at 12000 the 30808 for FICA, the benefits go down to 8796 Work is caught becomes 168. That would give us in the personnel uh, section a total of 53,793 if Excel is correct. Yep. And is that the only motion that we're dealing with at the moment? Uh, the motion that we're dealing with is at 97,033 total as a whole. But we're discussing obviously what potential changes those might be. And as you know, Julie, okay, so when I, I did read your, remember I responded to you an email asking the question about the treasurer, if she has been working less. Yes, we did. And yes. would you not agree that she has been working less and Pam has had to pick up more? And she's had to yes, train that's more. That is correct. And I do want, I do want to clarify, as of yesterday, uh, I want to make it very clear that she did request an accommodation and we moved her into the commissioner's office to allow greater um, social distancing and that was accomplished yesterday. So that office is ready and I have not heard from Pam. I told her we would be doing that this week, first thing. So I just stay hearing from her. I, I don't know what her plans are. I'm not going to speak for her. But we, you know, she requested the accommodation. And it is ready uh, whenever she is to come back to work. Okay. And Julie, first statute say, is it my understanding that as treasurer she's elected and it's a part time role? In the statute, I, I have not looked up looked it up, but what's the is there stated the number of hours? No, no, absolutely not. Very, very broad and very big. I mean, it is, it's been, it's been in the law for so long that it's just like most of the stuff that deals with municipalities and especially counties, it's very broad and big. It's just what her general duties and responsibilities are. So, um, no, there's no set hours and it's just very big on, not very big, but I mean, she's there to oversee the general finances of the county and she's not required, as she said, and I will agree with her, her it's not her responsibility to answer the phones or do any of the day-to-day -day duties. Um, that's something other treasurers in the past have agreed to. But as elected official, like the other departments such as probate or deeds and so forth, they could work up to 32 and a half hours a week if she so choose, which would still be, as in the rest of the world, part-time, correct? That's correct. Yep. I mean, that, that is a discussion that needs to be had between the elected official and the commissioners mm -hmm. on what the role is going to be and how expensive it's going to be. Yep. Um, you know, I'll just give an example of other counties. Some counties just have elected treasurers that are simply figureheads that um, don't do the large the day to day administration of the treasurer's department and just show up for county commissioners' meetings and do their general duties of overseeing the audit, et cetera, and the investments and report to the commissioners, and that's the end of it. So um, it varies from county to county. Correct. So I guess what I'm getting at is I think we all received an email from the treasurer, and the fact that I understand benefits are nice, but for somebody that is working not even close to full time every week, would think that they should receive benefits. And I know it's been part of the job, but this is something that kind of has bothered me the whole time I've been on the budget committee and all of the 
elected officials, but if they can't work more than 32 and a half, because that's when, if they're here during the county hours, that's what it's at. But for the fact that you're not even at that point, I just don't see why the county would be taking taxpayers' dollars and giving somebody benefit for working truly part-time. And that's, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's fair to the citizens of Franklin County. So if, if the treasurer, if her, this treasurer or any church in the future wanted to work the 32 and a half hours a week, and that would reduce our part-time clerical too, I have no problems giving them benefits. But the fact that I don't know many employers out there that pay their employees part-time, you know, pay them part-time and give them benefits. Very few. And if there are other ones out there, I'll give for those people. But, so, yeah. I, I see this as being both ways, where I can't ask questions because it's a personnel issue on one side, but they'd be asked to set the, the person's salary on the other side, so it's one way or the other. And so I'm, I'm okay with set, cutting the $7,000 out for the time clock, as we know the commissioners disperse the funds I got. If it doesn't, as they said, it goes back to the general fund. But I don't feel comfortable not being able to do either it's a personnel issue, we, we just leave it alone and have the commissioners discuss with the treasurer, or it's not a personnel issue and we discuss it with So that's all I'm going to say about it is that um, I, can, I agree with the time clock, but otherwise, you know, leave it at this personnel issue. Um, but, you know, like it Thank you. <coughs> the motion currently now is for $97,033. See no more discussion on that. Do a roll call vote on that. Tiff. Tiffany Murray, no. Ray, no. Here in green, yes. Bob Blues, yes. Tiffany, yes. Tiffany, yes. No. Travis Bond, no. Judy Dias, no. Joshua Bell, no. Make that mm -hmm. seven, nine. Seven, nine. Seven, I mean, seven, two, is that right? A motion for $79,212. I'll second it. $79,202? $212. $212. So Travis made the motion. Tiffany has to second it then. Questions or comments? Well, do you want to explain? Uh, that it is. Go for it. The explanation is all of the information we talked about with Julie and removing $7,000 for the time clock. Okay. Questions or comments? Did. So I, I want to make it clear the reason I voted no on the last one is that I agree the time clock can go up with $7,000, but I disagree on, on the rest. Thank you. Okay. I feel, and I agree with Tiffany as far as it's a personnel issue, and that's what we've been directed is the amounts that we were just given that was um, allocated in, in an agreement with the treasurer, and so therefore I agree with going with those numbers. I don't agree with taxpaying with taxing the taxpayers more than what's going to be allocated. Well, the only thing I would say with that is if, if we weren't in a period of COVID nineteen. Now we wouldn't be having this discussion. Um, the, the salary would have been what the salary was set at. Um, and it's only because we're in this particular environment that the change is being made. Um, and, and I don't, uh, I don't want to get involved in the personnel decisions of the commissioners. to that is that's what they voted the other day to do so those numbers are in place but at the same time if we had had our meetings for this in right. the time period that we should have had them it would have been a, a moot point I and mean, we it would have never been discussed because we wouldn't have been into the COVID-19 period of time which has created this issue that yes the commissioners voted on it the other day um, but it's I just I'll let them make the decision they want to make. Um, 
and I, uh, I'm not excited about paying an additional tax, but at the same time, we'll let them make the decision on the personnel issues and the pay. Okay. Any other questions or comments on this? Motions for 79212 and that's a reflection of changing the personnel line items and removing the tax lot. Correct? Correct. And then that line item would be capital outlay would change to 3500 total. Any other questions or comments? Uh, Ray. Yeah, I do. Uh, we're looking at a reduction of 18000 is that correct? Is that what you get? About. Right around there. So we're eliminating the time clock. Seven thousand and, and uh, twelve thousand. That's that's nineteen thousand. Yeah, here. If you added yeah. up the FICA, the FICA and the benefits. Okay. Okay. Right. All those are the right. Okay. Only what a four thousand forty-five hundred dollar reduction in the pay. Okay. The benefits took the biggest hit from 14,652 down to 8,800. I'm rounding, yes. <laughs> it's easier to speak in round numbers. Okay. Any other questions or comments? I think we're ready for a roll call vote. The motion for 79,212. Tiff? Tiffany Miley? No. Ray, no. Darren Green, no. Bob, no. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Gaius, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. So there's five, four passes for 79,212. And the four no's were Tiffany Moray, Ray Bodell. Bob Lewis. Bob. Gary McGray. And Gary. Okay, yes. so. Sorry, this is one more time, hopefully, just so I have my own sheet here. So, way to go to changes made. Okay, so the changes were made made in the uh, personnel line items. 30,000 for 12. Down to 12,000. Yeah. FICA went to 3,808. 3044 went to 8,796. And then workers' comp, which is 3046, went to 168. That should be a total of 53,793. Correct. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. John, hold the board on that again, please. 5-4. In favor of the 79? Yes. Who hold the four in favor of the 74? Who else? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Judy's hiding over here. Okay, Judy. The podium is more than four. I'm not going to lean over so far. What? It's getting the score back. It's going to send a bill to the county. <laughs> Alright, with that, moving on. You get all the numbers you need to get. Okay. Alright, with that, moving to technical services. And the original department request was for 243.654, and the commissioners voted for 242.486, and so did the budget committee voted the same at 242.486. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. It's been a motion and a second. I'm going to give it to Tiff as a second on that. It's close. Brad Wire. Is there any questions or comments? Yes. Tiffany Esther, yes. 
Travis Pond, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. Makes nine zero. <laughs> that will meet the county courthouse. And the original request was for one fifty two seven hundred and seventy four. The commissioners and the budget committee both voted originally for one fifty one seven fifty nine. Question, comments, motion? Motion preferred. So moved, FEMA. Second. Motion for 151.759 by TIP. And Ray seconded that. Questions, comments on the county courthouse? Right. 
any other questions? So with that, answer, with that answer of it's going to take a couple of years, so should we expect that that line will be rolled over next year? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Don't need it. <laughs> and the line item? Oh, the sorry. Is I believe the line item is 4617. I'm speaking right, yep. about the jail specifically. Chairs, Chair, seeing how we're talking about the, that parking lot, is that to completely dig it all up, the whole parking lot, and fix the drainage, or? I think it's just near, for the, well, it's in between the jail and the comm center. It's that middle area between all three buildings. Mm -hmm. It's low there, and so the water just collects. It's never had proper drainage ever put in there in the past. And so the idea, talking to some other people, would be to build some sort of containment pond further out in the field there and put some drainage from the driveway, build up the driveway a little bit, and run into this containment pond to keep the driveway clear. So I, I'm not sure what that entails, but. Did you have an overall ballpark figure you're thinking that's going to cost? I don't. Uh, I remember. Somebody came from a company and looked at it and we're supposed to get back back to Julie with some sort of information, but I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Maybe a time. I don't think the line item is 4617. It's on the next page for 10,000. We've got a line item that's supposed to be over the yes. So it's 7302. Line item below 7302. Oh, that's Thank a safe parking lot. Talking about drainage. Parking lot drainage. Yeah. Do you have something over there? No, that's okay. Right. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Gary? Since we're on the parking lot, Gary Graham and Jack, this issue has been going on for a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. So, doing what you suggested, it's not going to blow up the water table, is it? But isn't that it's, it's what's causing that? Uh, it's, it, what's causing it is just can we go back on the original owner and sue him for it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. You know, the, uh, it, it's just because the, the way the parking lot is, is, is made, it just creates a hole there. Um, before I came on board, there was a hole drilled in the ground, and then there was a, it has an inmate sticker, a, a, a trench out into the field, and they put a, literally, it was a, a dryer pipe going from that hole out to the field that was supposed to leach into the field, but it was never effective. And so right now, it rains, it fills in very quickly, and uh, then it just floods, and it takes two to three days for it to, to go away. And since this has been going on over the years, it's, it's loosened up the tar. Mm -hmm. And so the tar is all loose and dry in there, so I drive into the crater room. But so currently, there's a drain in there. It's it's not it's it's a the drain system is doing it. I mean, it, it's so bad it actually affected the communications this winter. There were some drainage issues that went into some sort of communication thing that went to the comm center. And uh, they had to replace some pipes in there because of the drainage. So it's just something that's been taken care of. I thought those were speaking of the, uh, the National Guard doing the work. The National Guard doing the work. I didn't consider that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how that's done actually, but I'll ask my former National Guardsman out here okay. when he has a chance. He has plenty of time, don't worry. Huh? He has plenty of time, don't worry. He's a master of all three. All on that note. Any other questions? I thought that in the parking lot, I thought that those were actual speed bumps that we had put in, to be very honest with you. I did. I did. I thought that those were speed bumps. They've been there since I was a little tight. Spent a lot of time up there. I know. Communications. Okay, that's good. Any other questions or comments? 
Original motion was for $2,254,282. Roll call vote. Tiff. Tiffy Murray? Yes. Morgan Dunn? Yes. Ray? Yes. Ray Murray? No. Paul Blues? Yes. Tiffany Estabrook? Yes. Travis Paul? Yes. Judy Dyer? Yes. Travis Ravel? Yes. 8 1. Passes. Gary Bean? Votes. Bob second. Ray makes a motion. Bob second. Questions, comments on registry <coughs> of deeds. Yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Dyes, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. Nine zero passes. And along. Probate. Division will request this for $215,481. The commissioner voted for $212,340. And the budget committee voted for $208,906. Is there a motion? So move 208906. Motion and second. Tiffany Estabrook. Made the motion. Morgan second. Questions, comments? Yeah. What the right. are we cutting out? Um, I believe it was as a result of Ember's uh, yes. reduction. Okay. At Julie's recommendation. I yes, the original the, request. Was I have that reduction as $8,323. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I don't think there was anything else. <coughs> Bob, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Palm, yes. Judy Dyer, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. 9 0, passes, unanimous. Now to the sheriff's box. Original request is for $1,850,547. The commissioners and the budget committee both voted for $1,824,095. Is there a motion? Bob Blues, so moved. Second. Bob well, makes a motion. Ray seconds. Questions, comments? And the sheriff's office. Gary. I had a question before about revenues offsetting some of the costs of the sheriff's department, whether it be patrol or the jail. Um, and I got a response from Julie, but I didn't see in there whether there was any. Community Corrections Funds. Now, I probably should have brought that up under jail, because you should have received some funds from that, right? Yes. But I didn't see anything in uh, the revenue forecast that you would set out around from Community Corrections. Yeah, community Corrections would be on the jail forecast, but not on the sheriff's budget, of course. Right. And I, I, I don't know why that wasn't included. But usually, on average, it's $184,000 a year. I thought it was a lot of good. Yeah. So I didn't bring that the full amount of we're working on if things go right for the jail, and they won't. <laughs> well, we're hoping it'll go right for the legislature. We're working, we're working with the legislature right now, and we're hoping that uh, we may have been maybe double that from the legislature. If everything goes wrong and the tax 
that thing goes through, it's a big process. It was a combined effort of all the counties, the Crown Commissioners Association, and uh, it should go. Let's, sit, let's keep our fingers crossed. I guess, Gary, did you get the updated sheets that were by the table when you came in? Yeah, I did. I, I haven't had a chance uh, to review it because I was late on my arrival. I next, apologize. For next to the last page. And yes. So, so cut my salary by that amount. Okay. We'll Perfect. distribute it to everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the total estimated revenue currently right now is for one while I'm projecting is 187,592. For jail. For revenue, yes, jail. And you're hoping that it's doubled? And you are hoping that it's doubled? Fingers crossed. There's a lot of work to get there. We'll see what happens. Oh, we're looking for all this day. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> all right, so the motion is for $1,824,095. <coughs> is there any other questions or comments on the sheriff's department? <coughs> Bob, yes. Tiffany, yes. To Bruce, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Next year as well. Yes. Any other? Any other? Good night. All right, let's go to the budget now. Not yet. I'm hoping you can set up. What's your name? Any other questions on communication? Okay, because I remember there was some plan to 
trying to put in stations and all that. So it just came to me to remember to ask. So thank you. Any other questions or comments? Other than I'm glad to hear that hopefully this will improve communication in the county. Tiffany. <laughs> so we were told last year that the addition of the fourth station would reduce the overtime hours. And I understand that there hasn't been the, the uh, manpower um, and the positions haven't been necessarily filled and so that's accumulated for some of it. Um, but it's budgeted, it's being asked for 79,000 in overtime and, and 95,000 has been spent. Is there any plan to, to reduce that amount of overtime? Well, as far as the overtime strictly, um, so we, we were significantly in excess this last year for a good six months. Uh, and so we kind of looked at the figure, but we overspent this year for the uh, overtime and reduced, kind of came in the middle, because I think historically it has been overdrawn with uh, the overtime, it stacked up the, you know, the cost of a lot more. Uh, so we did take the overage, looked at what the overage was, kind of came in the middle and budgeted a little bit higher, especially with the unknowns of the COVID, because we did have some employees that were out on FMLA due to uh, some medical concerns. So we kind of met in the middle to kind of say, see how that goes this year. We are fully staffed at this point, so I don't know, but there still are, um, nobody has taken any vacation time in the last few months that they haven't been able to. So we still have that coverage that you have other employees that are covering for that as well. So there still is the need for the overtime line. So it kind of came in the middle. Judy. How many employees do you usually have in this day? There are two full time for, um, there's four day full time and four night full time, and then there's two supervisors and a full time 40 hour utility position. And then we try to have at least two part timers on that are consistent part timers to be able to come in and fill some additional shifts. So how many people do you have right now? Right now we are fully staffed. So we have the eight full time, the one utility, and the two supervisors. And hopefully, correct me if I'm wrong. The communications director would be able to do dispatch potentially after this last negotiation. Um, I didn't know that was being negotiated. For the director? Yes. Uh, that's not part of the director, not part of negotiations. No, but in talking with, I remember the discussion before last year's budget, part of that was going to be hopefully they'd be able to use by them dispatching some or a supervisor dispatching more, they would reduce the part time. It was talking about how to reduce that line item after the last negotiation. I'm just curious. If I wasn't involved in that, so I don't know. Okay. We, we do have one of our uh, supervisors who uh, came up through the ranks that's relatively new. He's not new to the, uh, to the dispatch center. He has uh, been very gracious to be flexible, so that he's coming in and helping offset and covering those shifts. He doesn't really have a set uh, work schedule. Mm -hmm. By being flexible, hopefully, we can alleviate a little bit of that, so. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments on communications? All right, so the motion is for $979,098. Vote, all vote. Tip? Tiffany Yes. 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 Bob Luce, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Paul, yes. Dr. Bell, yes. 9 0 it passes. And then moving to debt service. And the uh, requested amount, Commissioner's Budget Committee, was for $50,008. Is there a motion? Bob Lewis, so moved. Second. Gary makes a motion. Um, seconds. 
Questions, comments? Seeing none, roll call vote. 50,000 in eight columns. Tiff? Tiffany yes. Yes. Mary, Mary, yes. Bob Luce, yes. Tiffany Esterberg, yes. Travis Bond, yes. Judy Guy, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. 9 0 passes. Going on to the extension service. Department originally requested for $50,750 from the commissioners and the budget committee. We both voted for $49,400. Motion. Four. Gary made the motion. Morgan second. Questions, comments? Roll right. we'll call the vote on forty nine thousand four hundred. Tip. Tip and Mary, yes. Bob Luce, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Bond, yes. Judy Dyes, yes. Catherine Bell, yes. 9 0 passes. News. Moving on to program grants. First one on our agenda is Franklin County Firemen's Association, one of the last year. So we'll go by the agenda Franklin County Firemen's Association. The request was for 3700 and the commissioners in the budget committee both voted for 3700 Is there a motion? So moved for 3700 Second. Then a motion and a second for 3700 And Tiffany made the motion. Well, I'm seconded. Questions, comments? Bob Luce, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Bond, yes. Judy Dyer, yes. Joshua Bell, yes. 9 0. That's this unanimous. Then the next is soil and water. The uh, department originally requested 2,500. The commissioners and 25,000. I mean, 25,000 and 25,000. <laughs> I'll throw them off. Thank you, Bob. 25,000. The commissioners and the budget committee both voted for 20,000. Is there any motion? So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> motion is for 20,000. Ray makes a motion for 20,000. Give it to Tiffany. Seconds. <laughs> Questions, comments? Gary. The entire amount is to fund the executive director for soil and water conservation. Is that right? I believe it's basically it's what the funds go to. Well, I want to hire somebody to program grants, keep that position going. Right? Yeah. I know, I've understood it. Well, the reason why I raised the question is because the commission often will say that. You know, program grants fund the salary increases and it pays for people's salaries. But yet, in this particular case, not only does it pay for part of the salary, it pays for the whole salary for that individual. Now, I'm not opposed to giving them a very liberal individual. And I think they probably should get more money, as I do with like, other program grants. However, um, in order to stay in line with the other commissioner's uh, decision to cut people's salaries, cut people's benefits, cut um, there's, there's no guarantee on our part that they will fund it anyway. Is that right? I mean, there's no guarantee that they disperse the funds. They to cannot overexpend, but they can underexpend, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. As they always have been able to do throughout the many, many years, Franklin County, when the statutes were written, that hasn't changed. Well, you know, I understand also if the, if the commissioners override any decision that we make in the budget unanimously, mm -hmm. it comes back to the budget committee for a final vote. Correct. And if it passes the two thirds, then right. the budget committee is upheld, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Uh, just for clarification, though, I mean, it's upheld, but 
that they still don't have to disperse the funds. Right? Okay. Great. Right. Right. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. yes. As in any other department. Um, just for clarity on your question, for salary, it doesn't actually break it down that it says it's just for salary. It has, if you looked in the line item, it just breaks where their income is and then it shows what their total anticipated expenses are. So it actually doesn't say that that money is used only for the executive director position. It is part of their income for the program. Fiscal year budget 2020. So it actually, it's not like it says this and that. But I do recall some of the program grants said that that money went for paying for people. Okay. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. Any other questions or comments on soil and water? Travis Ponder, Chair, just to uh, make sure Gary understands, soil and water has almost 100000 in their bank account currently. That's what was stated last year. And the reason that the director has not taken a raise is she wants to ensure that there's money in the bank account if someone didn't want to get paid more. Thank you. Well, I didn't know they had that much to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My only question in regards to this is a little late coming, but where they're running programs, do they see a decrease in numbers? For these programs that they're running because of COVID 19? And do they plan on expending all these funds? Because if they're not having meetings, then I would assume they would not be working as many hours, potentially. Or maybe they work the same number of hours and it's different. But different. I, would, I would assume they'd be doing the same as everyone else, including the extension, where there's a lot of online classes that would be available. Travis Bond and Sharon, I've seen a lot of their uh, emails lately where they're still doing the erosion controls and working with the municipalities and not only teaching the classes but going and doing the inspections to keep your municipal departments and the contractors uh, within their uh, certifications for shorelands only. Okay. So we can just as active. Okay. Any other questions or comments? The motion currently is for 20000 Tiffany Larry, yes. Martin Dunn, yes. Ray, yes. Jim Gray, yes. Bob Luce, yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Dallas, yes. Dr. Bell, no. Eight one, it passes. and the budget committee both voted for 58700 Is there a motion? So moved. Second. So Ray makes a motion for 58700 Tiffany seconds. Any questions or comments? Yes. Tiffany Estabrook, yes. Travis Pond, yes. Judy Dyers, yes. Dr. yes. 9 0 passes. And with that, that concludes the voting on the current budget 2021. That will be to other business. Anybody have any other business for me? The other thing I would state is that the commissioners will meet and review. And when it's 
You need next uh, on the 14th. On the 14th. So potentially after the 14th, we might have to have one more meeting. At that time, if they're unanimous on overriding us, and then we'll have to vote by a two thirds vote to override them. So. They won't undo all our hard work, will they, Josh? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess it's basically wait and see. I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> I'll take it personal, but yeah, you know, just for the budget money on the street. All right. Second. In a motion. All right. Tip made the motion to adjourn. Bob second. Roll call vote. Tippy Perry yes. Ray yes. Jeremy yes. Bob Lynch yes. Tiffany Estabrook yes. Travis Bond yes. Joshua Bell yes. Nine zero. Unanimous. Relieving.